Hi, I'm Harriet. And I'm Mauro. This is Tofu. And we've been here for about a year now, almost a year, so, well, since we bought it. So we thought this would be a good chance to do a reflection over the last 11-ish um, months. Talk about some of the goals that we had, think about whether we achieved them or not, um, look at what we want to do for the next year. Shall we start with a bit of a, how did we get here? Yeah, I think we should, because we haven't really done that in a previous video, so... <laughs> We bought this place in February this year, 2021. It's now December. Um, but we came to visit it in November for the first time? Yeah, we first saw it in November 2020. So um, at that point, we had recently moved to Spain. We were previously living in the UK, in Manchester. Um, we moved to the Valencia region, which is where Mauro has family, and we knew that area quite well. We moved with the goal of buying, um, buying land, I guess. Our criteria weren't that fixed. Um, I quite wanted off-grid land, but we were quite open-minded as to what we might find and what we would be able to do there. But we basically knew we wanted to live in the countryside, um, be able to have more space and more time to do the kind of things that we're interested in, which require space and require land. I'm really interested in like the gardening side and growing food and stuff like that. Mauro's really interested in the construction and kind of handicrafts type um, side of things. So we just wanted more space to be able to do that. Yeah. Um, we ended up finding somewhere in yeah November December kind of time of last year. Actually, probably the second, the first or the second property we found, we came to see it, and it was sort of the one. Luckily, yeah. Well, <laughs> it was the first one we came. To well, see. we shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, don't don't do this. But it was the only place we really saw properly, and we bought yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good one. We, I think were, lucky, we were lucky. But, yeah. but yeah, yeah, it's not advice. I would. Yeah. Give to people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it worked out really well, yeah. as you'll probably hear. So yeah, by February we had we'd bought we bought everything. We actually signed the papers on my thirtieth birthday in February. Yeah. And since then we've been working on this project. We've been coming here well, for about half the year we were coming only at weekends and not every weekend because we didn't have a car. And camping. Camping. Yeah. Renting a car. Renting a car. Oh, I forgot what the, what we used to do that. Yeah. It feels like ages ago. Yeah. When we were doing that, if we could come once a month, we were lucky. Yeah, we were coming once a month. Um, so yeah, things were slow at the beginning. But by the summer, um, we had a car and we were able to come more often. We also got a lot more help from people. My mum came, came to stay and help us for a long time. So things sped up on the second half of the year. Yeah. But yeah, it's been about a year, this whole thing. So. And also worth mentioning that you've been living here since September. Yeah, I've also been living here full-time since September, um, if you haven't seen that in any of the other videos. So, yeah. yeah, and I come here in the weekends. So that's where we are? Yeah. So... Oh, in, this is the exciting part. This is the exciting part. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, the goals. I don't remember yeah. most of them, so I think it'll be fun to see how optimistic we were. Yeah, so in, um, I think about May or June, we started a newsletter, because mainly for just like friends and family in the UK to share with them what we were up to here. Um, and in that first newsletter, I wrote a list of goals that we had for the long and the short term. And when I was writing that, I remember thinking, God, these are really like <laughs> impossible goals. Like we'll be lucky if we do this in a yeah. lifetime. <laughs> no, this, uh, yeah, I, it felt more like goals for the next five to 10 years, like not yeah. really uh, an achievable amount of work. I had them separated into a long term and a short term list. Mm -hmm. um, short term, I didn't really know what that meant. I was thinking like maybe a couple of years. Long term, I was thinking like five years. So I've got the list here. Shall we have a look at it? Yeah. So the first short term goal, restoring the almost habitable stone house so that it's a lovely tiny home for us, somewhere suitable for living all year round. We definitely did that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's fully restored, but it's definitely livable. Well, it and doesn't it's... say fully here. Yeah, yeah. And it's... Well, yeah. it says lovely. It, it, it is, <laughs> is, it is it lovely. lovely. It's, char it's charming. It has personality. It's not, it's not fully there. There's improvements. Maybe that should be like goals for 2022 of like some improvements to it. But, but I would say yeah. that this is 80% done. Livable all year round. It's the middle of December. We're, all, yeah. we're almost at the shortest day of the year. And I'm living here. Yeah, I think, and it's quite comfortable. Yeah, surviving the winter. Like being comfortable in the winter, that's the goal of a house. So I think <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's, the that's number a, one goal. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think we've done this. Yeah. Next. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hang on, I've done this the wrong way around. Sorry, that was a that was a long term goal. Was that a long term goal? That was a long term goal. goal. Okay, we're starting with the long the long term. Oh goals. wow. Okay. Well, that was... We've done a long term goal. Yeah. Huh. I have to see if I can like do a list of long and short and then like whoop, move it to the long one. Yeah, maybe. With like a some sort of animation. Well, if you want to <laughs> create more work for yourself, <laughs> you're hey, welcome. I'm, I'm good at doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, long term goal. Second long term goal. Develop a thriving farm based around permaculture principles. This is definitely a long-term goal. This is not something... Well, this is correctly put in the long-term list because this is not something uh, that you can I know. speed up. I'm that's, just laughing because of how disastrous everything I've tried to grow has been this year. That's, that's unfair. That's unfair. We've eaten... Like, that's really unfair. You've we've eaten, eaten a, lot a, lot of of, a lot of food. And, like, there's some really good stuff. Like, the lettuce we've been eating lately has yeah, been I really good. I grew two really nice lettuces. The peas are really good. Yeah, the, the we've beans had about have been good. Peas. Um, another long-term goal, welcome woofers and volunteers. Yeah. Yeah, not we're happening not, now. Yeah, we're not close to what we'd love this. to. Uh, restore the big old house. Okay. Oof. Yeah, there's also a ruin, if you haven't seen. There's yeah. a massive ruin, which That's was once a, a, a big old like stone masia. Someone built a load of rubbish on top of it, which wasn't built very well, and it all fell down. So it's like a ruin on top of a ruin. Um, it's a lot of work. Like That's work. something that we're going to have to tackle really long-term. It's, it's, it's a bit... It's a annoying it's a bit frustrating because it's well. like the first thing you see when you come in it's so, so it's okay. always there's like a huge reminder well <laughs> what you need the to thing do, itself yeah. cannot be a reminder for itself but like you know what i mean like mm. you see it all the time it's a reminder for how much work you've got to do yeah yeah, yeah. it's definitely it's definitely that so it's a lot of work we're not touching mm -hmm. that anytime soon no uh second not second fourth third. fifth third, some another point yeah Integrate chickens slash quails. I don't know why I was obsessed with the idea of quails when I wrote this. I love but quails. I was. I, they're really cute, but yeah. I don't know why I specifically said quails. Um, a couple of donkeys and maybe some goats. Still all on the agenda. Yeah, it's definitely a long-term goal. Yeah. Build some accommodation for visitors, which might turn out to be the big old house or perhaps a teepee or yurt. Haven't done that yet, Haven't but started. still would love to do that. Yeah. Install a solar panel system. To meet all our not extravagant energy needs, we've done, done that. We've yeah. done it. We've done yeah, it. Yeah, I think this is something that was a lot easier than we thought. And yeah. actually, yeah, okay, short term. We've done quite well on the long term goals. Yeah. Okay. Two out of seven or something like that? Yeah. That's good. Short term plans number one install enough solar energy to be able to run a laptop and 4G router for eight hours a day, allowing me to work from the finger during the week done that. done that and yeah. more so yeah we have a we have a fridge which we, we thought it yeah. would be harder so we use power tools we're yeah. way beyond <coughs> just eight hours a day of that was that was a stupid goal anyway because it's like obviously you, you can't just use your laptop for eight hours a day you need other things if you're going to live here like you need light you need it was always going to need to be more than yeah, that yeah i wouldn't say but. it's stupid but like we we didn't really know what was realistic and now yeah. we do so good done Tick. done uh, get water from the spring flowing back um, to the terraces slash house again. We have done, done that. that. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, get an outdoor solar shower. Yes, we've done that. Yeah, that was easy. You can just yeah. buy it yeah. and <laughs> hang, hang it from it a tree. Yeah. So easy goal. Score some easy points there. <laughs> I think I was imagining something a little bit more luxurious. Yeah, but, but fine. still. Build a proper composting loo. Come on, you need to, have, you need to go on with that. Yeah, we're almost, almost done with that. Yeah. yeah. Um, plant a couple of raised beds. Yeah, we've done quite a lot in the garden area. We... Not necessarily raised beds, but like no. we've planted stuff. We, we might not go for raised beds. Yeah. We're still debating, we're still testing and thinking about the whole, how we're going to do irrigation, whether to go with like flood irrigation, the, the kind of traditional way, or try drip irrigation. So raised beds might not work for us. So. Yeah, also we lately we've discovered that it's quite windy. So like if you raise the beds, you're more exposed to the wind so that might be yeah. a bad idea too depends where we put them yeah different things might work in different areas it's a yeah but it's, a th it's impressive definitely, definitely a check yeah waterproof the small house yeah i think we thought it had the leak at some point but yeah yeah i think really. that's when we thought there was a leak but yeah. there isn't a leak and we could there's some waterproofing tasks sorry i got distracted by the hunters but uh there's some waterproofing uh tasks that we could do but at the moment they're not pressing deep clean and spruce up the outdoor kitchen well we didn't deep clean it we didn't deep clean it but we it is very usable we spend most of our time in it and we cook 
fairly complex mm. recipes and like yeah. we, we we use that area quite a lot probably yeah. the most uh, of the whole house so yeah it's usable not that clean uh, get the fields under control start mulching and fertilizing and give the fruit trees some care that's yeah. a hard one i would say under control it's a bit <laughs> much but we are we are streaming them we are we've, we've clean we've cleaned some stuff um we have mulched and covered some parts mm -hmm. I would say that yeah. all of it is obviously it's that we have a lot of land for what you can do manually by two people. So so obviously we're never gonna get but everything the bits under that we're control. Working on, we have mulch, we have Yeah, we the have, area closest to the house yeah. we have taken under control, so that, yeah. that's a check. It's under control. It's under control. It's yeah. all under control. Well that's it then. That's, is that our, it? that's our goals. That yeah, it? yeah, those are our goals. We oh did, that we did I, pretty think, well. I think yeah. That's yeah. That's a B plus, I would say. <laughs> Goals for 2022. Yeah. Right. So big goal for mostly me, but both of us a bit, is living, living, being here more. We both want to be here more. I mean, I'm here all the time, but Mauro wants to be here a little bit more. So that means working remotely more than he currently is. Yeah. Um, and I want to work less. So um, I just need more time. We both work full time. I want to work like part-time three days a week something like that which is something that's hopefully in in progress with my work um just to allow us more time to do stuff yeah so definitely it's not the money we need now it's the time like yeah. we've made a lot of kind of upfront investments like the solar um and stuff this year we don't desperately need money for big things like that anymore what we really need is just time to get on with stuff so that's what we're going to try and get ourselves some more of next year yeah um, accommodation for guests. Yeah. So we want to get first up. We want to just get a little teepee, probably in the field behind us. Yeah, um, like a like a glamping, a glamping tent, kind of setup. Some sort of. Yeah. Um, that's what we want to do. Comfortable tent with a stove, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Shower slash hot water. Yeah, we really need. Well, we don't need to, but it'd be good to sort the hot water situation. Yeah. I don't mind cold showers, and I even jump in this big like water deposit that we have and wash in there often, and it's freezing cold. Um, I don't mind. I haven't that. done it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I want to, but not today. <laughs> yeah, it's not super sunny today. It's not sunny today. <laughs> but yeah, I think other people maybe wouldn't want to do that. So if we're going to have um, accommodation for people who want to come and stay with us, we need hot water really. Yeah. We really want to kickstart the farm. Um, I don't think I've actually said in a, any videos, but what we really want to do here is start a market garden. That was one of the kind of goals. And it was one of the dreams that I had, and we were lucky enough to find somewhere that will allow that could allow that to happen. Um, we have the right, we just have the right kind of setup there for it. So that's something that we really, really want to work towards. So that means I need to learn a lot more about growing food. I need to practice a lot more. I need to grow a lot more for ourselves to figure out how we're doing irrigation. We need to take care of um, all the fruit trees. We have a lot of really good fruit trees here, but they're in a lot of they need, need care. of care. Yeah. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just taking care of what we have and yeah, expanding our skills and expanding our growing area. Um, chickens? Chickens, yep. yeah. Uh, we, we've sort of realized that the most achievable animal, farm animal that we <laughs> could have first is a couple of chickens. Yep. Just to see what it's like to take care of them. More, more solar. More solar. <laughs> it looks like more salad. <laughs> more which salad. is also a, a big goal for me is eat more salad. So what, the, that, what does that mean? So we've learned that our system is not as um, expandable as we thought it was. And we, like now that we know how much a fridge um, consumes and all of that, we think that we could have a bigger, uh, like just more power and to be able to have like a more, bigger more, fridge. More storage. And more yeah, power, more yeah. storage and a bit more and a bit more power. I don't think power is a limiting factor at the moment. I think storage is maybe a limiting factor, but essentially, um, Essentially, we want to have a bigger fridge, potentially a, um, a chest freezer, a, a freezer to conserve, preserve more food. Um, so, so yeah, we need to essentially build a shed for dedicated to put all the solar stuff, also to protect it more because right now the, it gets a bit cold and loses mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, it's a good one. And our final goal Ooh, for 2022. This is a, one. This is a fun one. Uh, sell something within the community. So this is kind of working towards our goal of selling organic veg in markets, maybe doing veg boxes, stuff like that, selling our market garden produce. 
we just want to edge towards that by just trying to sell something maybe at a small local market we have some friends who do kind of an informal market in their back garden sometimes yep. just like a swap kind of fair that they just they run so it'd be really cool to be able to take something to that um even if it's just a cauliflower or something yeah. you know just anything just yeah anything just a, a make make two euros just yeah. make two euros from something yeah. could i add one more thing to this yeah. i like to build something m more something like i can like an oven or a shed, mm -hmm. like I, maybe the solar shed, but like I'd like mm -hmm. to have like a construction project to, to start to finish okay. next yeah. year. Yeah. I think that's a good place to end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so hungry now. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go have lunch. Oh, let's take a lot of cuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so bad if, you, <laughs> if you see, if you see like changes in lights or like the continuity of tofu being on someone's lap, uh, breaks it's because we did a lot of takes um there were interruptions and <laughs> we ran out of batteries of different devices so sorry we're, about we're that we're good at this we're know? not professional <laughs> we're not professional video makers as no. you can tell so sorry about that hopefully harriet is a good editor i'm not even a good editor good luck with that <laughs> i'll see what i can do anyway okay. thanks for watching and see you next time bye